I'm quite confused. I love my loves, but I have a high bit too. Okay, so I'm wearing this vest. I like it, but I feel like it's making me look short. <sighs> Struggles. I should just stick to sweatpants on the weekend. I really, <laughs> I try to make an effort, and I feel like a hot mess. Anyways, um, I thought it was time to do like a little chat health health update, my bobber, what you guys know. We sit and we talk about stuff. Um, so the the topic that kind of was t was top of mind. Yeah, sure, let's put it that way. Um, recently has been, we talked, like last time I talked to you guys about breaking up with my scale and not wanting to focus on the numbers and that kind of thing. And I still have not looked at the scale. I think we're going on like six or eight weeks. Um, and I'm happy with my decision. I might eventually just like take a peek, but for now I'm happy with it. And I think in the absence of measuring my success by weight, I've been focused on the things that I've gained. So instead of focusing on loss, I've been focusing on gain. And honestly, that little shift in kind of a positive direction has made such a huge difference. So for example, the things that I've gained <laughs> in the past six to eight weeks were that I ran my first half marathon. Like I just, I, I will keep saying that because it still hasn't sunk in. I went this morning and I ran a 5k run and I'm like, I don't know and I'm nervous and these all look like real runners and I'm not really a runner. And my mom was with, with me and she's like, are you, you are a runner. You just ran a half marathon last week. Stop. Like, look at, like, I haven't quite realized these things. So I keep saying it in the hopes that eventually it will sink in. Um, so there's that. Um, the, the things I've gained too are so much more energy. So I was, when I was running, um, last week, <laughs> it seems like 10 years ago, uh, last week I went to the park for a day before just to like hang out and ride some rides and do that thing, so do, do those kinds of things. And there was this little kid running around and everyone around him was commenting, oh, I wish I had like 10% the amount of energy he did, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what? I actually have a lot of energy. Like usually I would be kind of like quietly agreeing to myself, but I'm like, I've had so much more energy since I've been focused on, you know, finding more balance in my eating and my movement, you know, and working out and getting out and whatever. So I've gained a whole lot of energy, which kind of trickles down. I, I filmed a video last week about why I run and I feel like I become my best version of myself when I run. And I think that's because the energy that I gain and the strength that I gain out of the running makes me feel like I have more energy to get stuff done in my day that make me feel stronger and more brave to be motivated to do stuff and have conversations and make decisions. And so um, another huge thing that I've gained is energy. And then I think the third is confidence. Um, and that this the, the confidence one is kind of a tricky one because the confidence in some aspects come comes into play because so many people around you are giving you positive reinforcement for the weight loss, right? And they're, they're just behind you and they're supporting you. And there's no part of me that ever wants to be ungrateful for any kind of positive, um, comments <laughs> or reactions. Cause that, that's just not who I am. If you're going to be nice, of course, I'm going to appreciate that. But it's a delicate balance between kind of celebrating that and letting it consume you. Because if, if, I know for myself at least, if I become too preoccupied with that positive reinforcement, when I put on a little bit more weight or if I'm bloating or if I'm, you know, whatever it is and I'm not getting that positive reinforcement, I can get to that really negative cycle, you know, the one that we talked about where it's, it's too focused on the weight loss aspect. So um, the initial confidence, of course, in some regards comes from that, but it comes from more than that. It, it comes from finding how much stronger you feel. Um, it comes from kind of, I don't know, for me, like this is going to sound silly. And again, it's one of those ones where I have to be like kind of careful with it, but like putting on clothes and finding things fitting comfortably and not me, because I'd been gaining weight for a long time, right? So like I'd be worried about what I could grab from my wardrobe that didn't fit properly. Um, so having clothes that fit properly and, and make me feel good and make me feel confident, um, that was also a big part. But I think the largest part of it that's really focused on the gains and not the losses um, in the confidence is that me being an active person was never my thing. <laughs> like it was always challenging. It always scared me. And so going into the gym or going out for a run and finishing it and finding myself finishing it strong gives me just so much more confidence. I'm like, if I can do that, I can do this thing. No sweat. So there's kind of a, a gain in confidence that sometimes is tricky and I have to, to watch it and sometimes comes from a really positive and healthy place. 
So yeah, um, I don't really have any numbers to give you in terms of where we are. I can tell you that I feel stronger. My body feels like it's getting strong. Like I can feel muscles in my arms. My calves are becoming like real, <laughs> like runner calves. It's making me super happy. No one understands why like, they're like, oh, your face, you're like, I'm like, no my calves and they're like okay but it makes me feel like a real runner um another kind of update i want to tell you guys health wise i guess is um my my running so i ran my first half marathon like i told you i ran it in 252 which is my quickest time ever which was great and i think i could have actually run a little bit faster the thing the the, the issue with the disney marathons or half marathons and, and 10ks and whatever is because so many people run they have bottlenecks that happen so we had to like slow down to a walk in two or three different places so I'm, I'm hoping that the next one that I ran that won't be Disney um, themed will be even stronger than that and this morning I ran um, my 5k also my fastest 5k time so I was an average of 10 minutes and 20 seconds a mile which is amazing um, 252 the marathon time that's about a 13.15 like 13 and less than a quarter <laughs> a minute mile so yeah I can obviously run faster if I'm <laughs> running a shorter distance but those are huge I think for me health related wins that are making me happy so yeah I think going forward healthy eating I'm going to try to keep up with as much as possible Ramadan's coming up so we're going to try to figure it out I'll maybe do one of these health videos halfway through that month of fasting and let you know how it's going um in terms of gym I realized that <laughs> going to the gym five times a week and then running four times a week was starting to take a, a strain on my body so that the, the half marathon's out of the way. And then I'm gonna calm it down and go to the gym maybe three times a week and then two to three runs a week, you know, and at least um, for this month and then once we get into Ramadan, I'll calm it down to maybe just a couple runs a week and then we'll go from there. So yeah, I think the, the, the reason I'm giving you all this detail about workouts and what have you is just to remind you guys that you have to tailor sometimes um, what you're doing and how you're working out and, and what you're eating depending on what's going on in life, right? And it's always just about finding balance and cutting yourself slack. And as my beautiful friend Erin reminded me, it's chasing your dreams relentlessly but also having, oh, she said it so much better than I am, the elegance and the, I'm going to pull it up because I, I can't remember and she said it so well. Wait for it. Ah, she said, you have to set goals and get to them, but trying to do it with compassion, judgment, and grace. This girl is so eloquent. I'll link her Instagram down below. But um, that's kind of the, the thing I wanted to end on, the note I wanted to end on. So yeah, that is it for this kind of health chat. Um, chat back at me and let's have a conversation down in that comment section. And I think that's it. Two points of positivity and then how we done. My first point of positivity is a nice full morning so far. Just full of good, positive, happy things, which is making me happy. My second is a realization I kind of had super like, these like moments of like, you know, the light bulb <laughs> come to me at the most random times. Yesterday, I had had a long day and I stopped and I got a small skim milk hot chocolate and I went to the library to pick up a book and as I was leaving, the weather was just perfect and I stood there for a minute and I went to myself, it's a good life. Like, it's really a good life. Like, yes, I'm going through transition period. Yes, there are things in life that aren't the way that you want them to and things that, you know, weigh on your heart and what have you, but it's a good life. And having that kind of realization, it sounds so silly and I don't know, whatever, but it, it having that mental kind of bing and then it, it's sinking into your heart, that kind of calm, it's a beautiful moment. So I've been kind of living in that space for the past 24 hours. I'm really grateful for it, or a little under 24 hours, <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. And then my third point of positivity is I was watching uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. The new Captain America came out. I'm going through a bit of a thing. It's okay. It's normal. It's to be expected. Uh, but, but I watched Winter Soldier again last night because they don't have the first one on Netflix, just the second one. Why? I don't know. But that, that made me happy. Okay, I'm going to go now. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out. Let me know it's making you guys smile. I will talk to you soon. But before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.